what's up guys brian here and i'm back again with another awesome video so today i'm going to share with you guys one tip or technique that will significantly improve your color grading in photoshop that's the technique i used in getting the picture from here to here so let's get started i know i said it's only one tip that i'm going to share but if you watch the video to the end you actually get to learn way more than one tip so stick to the end of this video so i'll turn off all these layers and show you what the picture looks like straight out of camera this is it this is how i took the picture straight out of camera raw picture when i turn on this layer you get to see my frequency separation dodge and burn and eye whitening i meshed everything into this layer now these are the layers that concern us in this video the skin toning the color grading and this hue and saturation layer so if i turn them on one by one you get to notice the changes this is the skin toning layer this is the color grading layer like the background color grading and this one is for the flower this technique is all about separating the different components of a picture and color grading them separately after applying all these filters on this picture it looks hideous because it goes into the skin and everything i have to separate the different components so that the picture will still look good at the end so most beginner photographers when they color grade this is how the picture end up looking because when they apply all these effects in the overall picture everything will just look off so when i turn on the mask that i created for these different areas of the picture you notice that the effects will only affect certain part of the picture and will look good overall so let me turn off this mask or let me turn it on turn on this one and turn on this one so you now notice that the skin toning effect or color grading is only working on the skin tone this background color grading is working on only the background and then this vibrance boost for the flower is only working on the flower but before everything was affecting the overall image that's why it didn't look so good so let me show you how i got it like to be like this um what i did i used one of the there are a lot of selection tools in photoshop you can use any one that you want just select the part of the image that you want to color grade. let's say the skin for example just make a selection around the skin i already made the selection so let me just click on this skin selection that i made here and just select only that part when you select that part of the picture you want to color grade you create a layer let's say it's a you and saturation layer i'll create that layer you notice that the mask will be applied on that layer now any effects i make any changes i make will affect only that part of the picture as opposed to if i turn off the layer you notice that the thing will affect the entire picture so this is really useful because if you are getting rid of some reds in the skin and there are reds in the background the reds in the skin tone and the reds in the background will go down and that may not have been the result that you wanted so i'll just delete this layer what i do to really help me a lot is to create a group so this is the group button you just click on this to create a group then you can add all the layers that you want to use in your color grading into the group and then you apply the layer mask let's make the selection again and then apply a mask here now instead of applying the mask on each individual layer you apply it to the group and any effect or any change that you make in the group will affect only that part of the skin that is selected so that's how i got this these groups here let me show you the different groups this is the skin toning group and that's where all these layers that i used in toning the skin are in and i have only one mask and that's what is masking the effect from touching the other part of the image that's the same thing i did here i selected the skin then since i wanted to color grade the background i inverted the mask so if i click on this and select inverse you notice that it will be the entire background except the skin that's how i got this mask for the background color grading and when i applied the color when i applied the mask all the color grading i did for the background didn't affect the skin as you can see here same thing with this one and when you apply this principle you notice that your color grading will move from just affecting everything 
to affecting what you want it to affect and that is what most of the pros do the pros don't just color grade and just move sliders anyhow they are very intentional about how they color grade their image and the sliders that they move i know this is a very simple technique and if you don't understand color it's not like you're magically your color grading will jump out the roof or, or, or anything like that you still need to learn the basics of colors and how the whole color theory works and stuff like that in order for this to really be effective so that's how i got this there are also other ways you can still manipulate colors selectively that's using any of these adjustment layer either the selective color or the hue and saturation so let me show you what i mean if i open the selective color adjustment layer you notice that there are this is the properties layer down here i hope you can see it you notice that the colors are separated in into different hues like the reds the yellow the greens and so on so if i want to mess around with the red i'll just select the red and then move the sliders and you notice that it will affect only red, the red tones why i still mask this adjustment layer is if you notice when i'm moving it the reds in the background and the reds in the skin are being affected so if you want to have a, a certain level of control in your color grading then you should try using this adjustment layer the selective color or the and saturation adjustment layer so these are some of the ways you can combine to get your desired image that's what i also did in this image this is the this is the final image and this is a straight out of camera so the limit to this is just your mind anything you can imagine you can create with this technique i hope that video was um useful i hope you guys learned a lot if you have any question or anything just comment down there in the comment section don't forget to leave a thumbs up and share this video with your friends any of your friends that need it just click on the share button and share it thanks so much for watching and see you guys in the next video